action by Jacob England to stand. Let's go to that video. You can see Jacob England walking into the courtroom earlier today. Following behind is Alvin Watts. Now, their attorneys have asked the judge not to allow a 30 minute interview with the lead detective where. England confessed to being involved in the shootings. Now, attorneys say England was bullied and denied his rights to an attorney. A jail nurse was also called into court today as a witness to say that she overheard both men confess over the phone that they were involved in the shooting of five people. Now, three out of those five shooting victims on Good Friday died. The attorneys are uh, the attorneys have now asked the uh, district judge to make a decision on this piece of evidence, but attorneys on um, both sides say this is going to be a battle of a case. It's important uh, to understand that uh, that what they have in this case are some incriminating statements from Mr. England after he was arrested. If those statements are suppressed, uh, there's just not a whole lot of evidence uh, in this case. So there's no question we'll be litigating this as we go, but please understand in a case of this magnitude, we're going to be litigating every single issue, whether it be a confession or an arrest or something else. That's just the nature of this case. And so you can step up, uh, and we expect these counsel to be competitive and to battle, but that's what they're supposed to do. Now, as the state prepares to go to trial, they tell us they will begin to consider whether they will seek the death penalty in this case. Now, even without the confession, they believe that they do have enough evidence to go to trial um, but for both of these men. The men will be back in court uh, in about two weeks. Live in downtown, Patricia Santos, 2 News.